Do we bring it right out to the corner here or a little bit back? Um, I don't know. Twenty one and a half brings us right to here. Look, this is me actually making a plan. <laughs> I don't always do this, you know. Nice work, my honey. Nice work. Very pretty drawing, number pro. Detailed, detailed. Very plan. detailed. Yeah. You can almost see the grain in the wood there. I mean, I would go so far as to call it blueprints. Shh. These are the blueprints for today's project, ladies and gentlemen. Bite your tongue. Can you tell what it is just by looking? Okay, so you're right. Um, of course. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I mean, that was really funny, obviously really funny. Uh, what do we got, 32 and... What was I right about? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> This one's, normally I don't wouldn't back something like this, but uh, in this case it has to be. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 16, it's right there. What, you mean on European cabinet? What do you mean? Well, we're putting a back on it, but normally you could just push it up against a wall or something. We did that on our kitchen cabinets too. We put backs on them, didn't we? Or did we not? Maybe we didn't. I don't think we did. Maybe you didn't. I forgot mm -hmm. that. Wow, yeah. this really is a very simplified way of making cabinets. Mm -hmm. Cabinetry, closetry, <laughs> all the trees. It's really hard and I encourage people who are going to build cabinetry, don't just go and make two by two frames and then cover it in plywood because it's it, harder that it's way. It's way harder. Yeah. If you look up, it's like just basic how to make a cabinet box. Once you get that, then you can extrapolate on that to make it as big as you want or, you know, multi boxed or whatever you want. But my God, take the time to look it up. It is so much easier to make cabinets the right way. <laughs> and is the European cabinet the right way to search it or look it up? What do you uh, just call it? how to make a cabinet box. The European ones is relevant, like because oh. you're making a cabinet box. If you're going to have a face frame cabinet, you'll make the box, then you'll put a face frame on it. Versus the European cabinet just doesn't have the face frame, but it's oh, still the same box. Oh, I see. The box is the same either way. Yeah. But with our doors, that would be the European part of the system. That yeah. The, the doors make it so you don't require a face plate. Yes, exactly. I get it. Yes. Okay. She can be taught. I understand now. She'll just forget in about 14 minutes. Whatever. Be gone. <laughs> I love my track saw. <laughs> I think you talk about this pretty much every time you use it. It's just a great thing. Yeah, every time you're like, this saw is so great. Because it is. The cool thing is I can take this on the road. I can't take my table saw. Right, like that but would you be can insane. Bring this. But I could totally take throw this thing in the bus, and uh, you know, if we go to some bus build or van build out, you know, or people want us to help build something for them, boom, we you know, I could teach tools. a little class. Maybe I'll teach a class on how to build cabinets. There you go. <laughs> okay, it's like a puzzle, obviously. Like this. Like this. So then, it's huge. Yeah, it's so much bigger than I was envisioning. So, there's the box. Now we have to create a countertop for this. If we're gonna do this, let's make it look nice. And what I mean by that is there should be on a countertop a slight overhang. Okay, not on the wall side, but out here and in front of it, we'll have a slight overhang and then out here I'll have it stick out about the width of the the doors maybe just barely past it yeah okay. that seems right Yeah. Cool. Really cool. 
doesn't look like what you would think it looked like right now, but it will. It will look beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be the table topper for our little boot barn at the end of the cap. We have to drill for the edging we're doing. So are you going to pocket hole the edging onto the top piece and then also pocket hole the top piece onto the boot barn? Yes. Nice. Has to be that way. Oh. A lot of screws to do a countertop. Still looks good. You can kind of see what's happening here. Yeah, like as I was saying before, when the battery so rudely died, we're making the tabletop of Mike's boot barn in the shaker style, like our cabinet doors. Once again, pocket hole the rescue. I know, these things are the greatest invention ever. Hashtag not sponsored. I can't imagine how we would have built this bus without them. I know, huh? It's huge. It is ginormous. You're going to have so much room for so many shoes. Yes. The wooden one, Thor's hammer. Sure are pretty. Thanks, my honey. Sure are handsome fella. Okay, here we go. Oh, Is it on? man, I what? forgot something. What'd you forget? To put the pocket holes for the lid. Oh my gosh. So what I could do, that's easier. I'll just make another cross piece and put it back here. And then we can just screw it in conventionally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm uh, probably gonna need your help for this. I think I could fit inside this box with room to spare. Which side is the front side or the back side? I hope I didn't forget something. I have to take this whole thing apart. Okay. Ugh. That was tiring. Y'all will notice Mike is wearing his heavy duty work pants today so as to prevent another blowout. Hashtag Duluth Trading Company. <laughs> fire hose pants. Crisp's coming up. These are fire hose pants today? 36 inch waist right here. Very sexy 36er. So Carrie had like the best idea and that was instead of just putting a shelf across here which was the original plan for this is to section it off right here and then have a shelf here so shoes shoes and then maybe a backpack or something right here. It's a good one. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah, let's do it. Dump the sawdust out of it though. Right. Poi fit. <clears throat> what, what do you think? It's awesome. It's it's so much bigger than I thought. Oh my gosh. Look at that! It is the perfect boot barn slash side table for the sofa. Outstanding, baby! Thank you. Like, this is the boot it had to fit. And, uh... 
It gets, why'd you make it so much bigger? Um, cause I wanted room just to have room so I didn't have to have it like super tight, like right up against it. We get a nice, uh, socket out here. Yep. There'll be a place to plug things in and I've got some staining to do. Lots of staining. And I still have to build the shelves, but let's do that tomorrow. Do the shelves tomorrow and the cabinet doors and hang the cabinet doors tomorrow. Okay. And then we can call it done. It will be done. It will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Day two. <laughs> Boot barn day two. Boot barn day two. Yes, with lots of more woodwork. Oh, you're looking at how to do the electric? Thing. Yeah, I just have to make a hole for the electrical in here. So it's going to come in right here, turn a corner, come up here, across, and wherever we decide to put it. Okay. That's how his handles. Yeah. All right, backpack test. I could do it 21 inches. And then how much is that size? So 11 and 3 quarters. This is my coronavirus get home backpack right here with food <laughs> and a sleeping bag and stuff for coronavirus stuff. For getting home from work. Trauma kit, tourniquet, ready for anything. What is, don't they call it a get, get home bag? It's a get home bag. It's, it's a right. get home bag. I'm going to keep this in the Jeep though. I'm not going to put it in here. Well, you have 57 backpacks. I do not. Bare minimum. It's 55. <laughs> It's going to be Boot Barn Plus. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. So we'll just make this like an 11 inch space right here. Jesus, what happened? That's way off. Oops. It fits over here perfectly. So that means this stuff bent this one is bowed out from the back so that they can bow back down again. Wait, this is should be level and straight though. That should be Well this here is a perfect measurement. So that means this is bowing down and this is bowing up. Jesus, what, what, where did we go wrong here? Maybe it was a mismeasure or a mismark or something. Well, this from here to here should be exactly the same as back there. See what I'm saying? Does it fit right there? What did I just do? Why is this side so <laughs> This is such a mystery. Over 18 and a half. We're right at 18 and a half. I just don't know, really. We're just gonna do it that way. No, that's not right. Like that. I need you to come hang on this. Okay. Still on that one? Yep. Okay. So now that's in. I don't know why he's even keeping these boots. You're never going to wear these on the beach. <laughs> Small shoes, big shoes. 11 inches. I need the little square. You know what that uh, is? Hmm. Let me just put my super finder abilities to work. She's so super finder. I have my own theme song now. <laughs> no. 
go. It looks really cool. I'm excited about your boot barn right now. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, there it is. It's done. Now we can put the top back on it again. Uh-oh. Need the uh, angle. <laughs> angle screwdriver. Uh -oh. Get that for me. Never fear. Super Finder is here. Even if I don't know where it is, I usually just walk right to it. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, this time though, that's not going to be the case because, man, nobody knows where that drill thingy is. But it's yellow. I, need I just found it. Done. Dun, 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 dun. And there you have it. This thing has come in handy so many times, I can't count that high. I know. I, how many times you've used it on this build? Will it's you push crazy. down on the top right there? Sure. Thank you. That was total trust. It was total trust. <laughs> Freaking bus building trust exercise. Okay, that one should be fine. <laughs> It works, but it ain't easy. Slip slap. No <laughs> tricky. There it is. Okay. I think you can cram a lot of crap in there, baby. I could. Shoes plus. Yeah, my work boots will go down here. Like three pairs of shoes up here at least. You could have like stacked up tennis shoes and flip flops because you can put two tennis shoes like, right. you know, facing and stacked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have plenty of space in there. What, well, mamacita? Did you come out for some dirt yoga? Maybe? Okay. Are you having some salad? Mmm, yummy. Oh my god. What are the chances of that? What? I just drilled this pilot hole right here. Uh -huh, so right into the shell? Right in the shell. <laughs> Way to hit a target, baby. Yeah. That you weren't trying to hit. Amazing like that. <laughs> for real? Right now? That's all you had left of for me? Of course. It's not a mic project if a battery doesn't die. Crazy. I'm trying to make it so the wire kind of starts off going up. This can go along here, it can go over here. So we gotta decide where you want the plug on this side. It doesn't matter to me. Preferably, it probably should be up here. Just to make your wiring easier? Yeah, so the wires aren't like really exposed back yeah, in there. Yeah, I don't really care. That's fine. Okay. These are my little USB chargers <laughs> right here. Just wiring them in so we don't have to do it from the inside. You just drill the hole in the side of the cabinet you just built. See how destructive he is? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> that looks good right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody got this all done while I went in the house for a snack. See how fast I work when you're not around? It wasn't really a snack. If I'm telling the truth, it was my first meal of the day. And it's like, what, 3.30 in the afternoon? Things are getting positively electrical around here. Positively and negatively electrical, really. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of cool, huh?
So now what is going on? What's Boeing? It's Boeing because no, we did this Boeing. too short. I have an idea what we can do here. Loosen okay. the screws. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because we have the shelf in there, it's, it's stable now. Plus we could drive some in from the back if we wanted to. I just didn't realize how much this was affecting the whole thing until now. Oh, you have to take the top all the way off again? Yeah. Oh. Bummer. Not a big deal. There you go. You want to hold this up for me? Sure do. Oh, I saw it come up. Yeah. So this is rock solid just because it's hooked on over here. So we can put it back down now. Oh, okay. Good. Oh yeah, way better. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go Jump. up these stairs. See the bow. It's up off the ground right here. Oh so pronounced. My gosh. Okay. So now we need those wire nuts. Okay. The key to what we're doing here is to get it all smashed into that box right there. stuff has to smash into here nicely. Now that we've done that and everything is in place, where it should be, like that, put this stuff away and screw this thing down to the floor. So now this is where we have to press down really hard over here. Everything looks straight. Yep, I fixed it completely. You just needed to get it in here and get it screwed down. Yep. Perfect. That is a nifty jig. This is yeah. Uh, this is the best for what we're doing. that goes in the circle. That part just plugs right in there. Mm -hmm. 
So you just center, center it on the pencil mark? Yeah. And then you make sure it's pretty vertical here. And how do you know how far away to put it? Um, about a half an inch or so. As long as you start that screw centered, it'll work. adjust it and it'll that screwdriver go ahead in my pocket. Here's what it is, man. It's a boot barn. Hmm? Hey, you killed my skate. What do you think of your boot barn? That's your boot barn. What do you think of your boot barn? What do you think of my boot barn? <laughs> I like your boot barn, baby. Why does the man get the biggest space to store his shoes? He's a man. You would think that I, as the woman, would have way more shoes than him, but no. Mm -mm, no. This man, more shoes than me. This thing's on. Ready to go. It even tells you the voltage, 13.6. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty fancy. Oops. I know we already did the whole living room reveal and then we just added more to our living room. It's really cool. It looks really good. It just finishes off that space really nicely and puts something there at the end of the couch. Mm -hmm. That's a lot nicer. Yeah, plus I have a place to set my drinks. Yep. And here's one more little thing we're about to do. What? All done with my awesome new maybe, maybe electrical not. outlet and USB port. There it is. One for me. One for Mike. You don't get the plate because yours isn't as good as mine. I so. know. No plate for you, I'm sorry. We thought we had one more outlet cover plate, but we don't. Put that on the list for the next time we go to Ace Hardware. What is it showing? The voltage of what? Our house batteries, 13.6. That is showing that? Mm -hmm. It's hooked to our house batteries. Oh. That's how we power everything in the whole buses to house batteries. Well, I know, but like, <laughs> I didn't know how that knows what we're at, because that's just a USB port. How does it know what level we're at? It's our batteries. There's a wire from our battery coming to that end of this, same battery. And so it just is measuring the voltage because it can. Oh, so just a handy little extra thing that that doodad can do. Mm -hmm. It's a doodad, because that's what it can do. You're very right. It's a <laughs> horrible pun. <It's... laughs> Mom jokes! Yes! So here's the finished effect as you step into our foyer. Boot barn on the left. Sized for Mike size shoes. And shoe shack on the right for Carrie shoes and skates. And, of course, our little heater cupboard. Pretty cool. The front of our bus is pretty much complete. <laughs>